So, okay, everybody, I'd like to welcome you today to our Rhode Island support group. We are very fortunate today to learn from Jessica Palumbo, who's a vocational rehabilitation supervisor, uh, got her master's degree from Assumption College in rehabilitation counseling with certificate uh, in uh, rehabilitation counselor, uh, working for ORS for the past 20 years. Uh, started a transition counseling for high school students with disabilities, followed by working with various mental health agencies and individuals with physical disabilities. For the past eight years, she has supervised seven vocational counselors assigned to East Bay, Newport County region. Um, she's going to share with us about ORS, where she's employed, um, a state agency under the Department of Human Services, and the mission is to empower individuals with disabilities to choose, prepare for, obtain, advance in, and maintain employment, economic self-sufficiency, independence, and integration into society. Um, so please welcome um, Jessica to our group today, and I look forward to learning from you. This is very exciting. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Um, and you just hit my first slide by, oh, you know, <laughs> Um, and bear me with the bear with me with the PowerPoint. It's a little outdated, so I kind of have you know a lot of things have changed since COVID. So we have different procedures, but pretty much everything it, it it's standardized. But you know, afterwards, after I go through everything, any questions you have about the process or anything that um, I can help you with going forward, let me know, um, and I will share my screen and. Start. Let's see. How's that? Can you see it all? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, let's just see. Oops. So I have two screens coming up and both of them are going simultaneously. So I'm trying to get back. Um, let's see. And switch off. And... And I think I'm going to get rid of one of them. There we go. Right. All right. So everyone can, can they see the screen? Yes, we can. We're good. Okay. All right. So the mission that was already discussed was to empower individuals with disabilities to choose, prepare for, and obtain employment. Um, so the Office of Rehab Services is kind of misleading because we um, it has that rehab in there. So a lot of people get confused when they think of uh, rehabilitation, they're thinking of drug rehabilitation, we're right now going in the process of trying to rebrand our name. So uh, more focusing on we are vocational, we are employment um, and going forward with that. Uh, so that is, is up and coming, we're working on that. And sorry, my screen keeps going on. So that is our mission um, and going forward, uh, the purpose of vocational rehabilitation is to um, get a job. And we're all under in, you know, just employment and trying to work through employment. And the main purpose is for somebody to get a job. Uh, sorry, this keeps going back. So the process of uh, application is the first thing would be an application. Uh, we have a uh, applications that can be utilized online. We also have an intake uh, person that would call up and talk uh, and send out an application. We can also send applications in the mail. So the application is probably uh, 
three or four pages, and it just kind of gives what you're you're looking for, your demographics, your work history, your education history. Um, and I just want to go back. And so then after application, there's an intake process and assessment. Then we do an individual plan for employment, looking at what your employment goal is, the services to get to that employment goal, uh, employment is the outcome, and then closure and then post-secondary uh, employment if needed. Uh, the application process, like I said, you can get it on our website. It's www.ors.ri.gov, or it can be done through a referral. And the referrals are made through doctor's offices, school departments, um, and uh, sometimes Network Rhode Islands. I know, like I work the East Bay in Newport County, and they don't have a Network Rhode Island, but there's one in Providence and um, Warwick. In Northern. So there's a couple of network Rhode Islands that will refer to us. The next step is once we get an application to go over what the eligibility is. So somebody who is eligible for our program has to have some kind of a document of a disability. So, um, and they have to have difficulty getting and keeping work. Their intent is to work. And if they are on social security, SSI or SSDI, they're automatically eligible. So what happens is when somebody gets an application into us, we refer to um, a vocational counselor. So that person will be assigned to a voc rehab counselor, and they all have master's degrees in uh, vocational counseling. So what they do is once they get the application, they determine eligibility. And eligibility, uh, what we do is we have the clients fill out releases for updated medical or school records if they're in the school department. And we have consultants review that and we determine eligibility. And eligibility is based on, um, excuse me, I the, the screen just keeps going on and on and I wanna talk more on the individual things. Um, so we could talk more about eligibility and who's eligible. Let's see. So the intake process. So once somebody gets the application, we look at their vocational background, their educational background, and also their interests and preferences. So everyone's individuals at this time. Um, we just want to get to know them. And then there's an order of selection. This goes back to the eligibility process. So the order of selection basically is that we work with the people with the most significant disabilities. So when we're reviewing medical records, we look at whether they have um, a severe limitation in at least one of seven life areas. And if they have at least one, then they are in a category three. Uh, if they have two or three, they're a category uh, two. And then if they have four or more severe limitations in um, one of the seven life areas, then they are a category one. Right now, we are taking all categories. There are certain times when funding is low where we only will work with maybe category one. Sometimes it's only category one and two. But right now, we do not have a wait list. Um, we had one prior to COVID, we had a wait list where everybody was on a wait list. Our funding comes through the 80% uh, of our funding is through the federal government. So we rely on them to um, give us uh, uh, grants and money. And then sometimes, some years, we don't get as much as other years. So that's why we go on a wait list. But right now, we are good to go. Um, once somebody is eligible for our program, we look at doing a plan for employment. What are their career goals? What is their employment goal? What services do they need to get to that career goal? And what service providers we can use and what the timeframes are going to be. So when we look at career goals, some people come with us and they know exactly what they want to do for a career goal. And other people really don't have an idea. So we do assessments and career and we try different jobs. Uh, we do that a lot with the transition population and that's within the school department. So every school in Rhode Island has a transition counselor that works with students with disabilities and they do what we call pre-ET services or pre-employment training services. Um, so that kind of gives them that idea of career exploration, understanding what they wanna do for work, 
um, and then going by what services they need to get to that job. Everyone's individualized. What service providers are in the state, we do vend out a lot. Of most of our services uh, through community partners, which we call vendors, and they work with us to provide a lot of the vocational services going forward. All right, so different services, we have vocational assessments, we have technology services, benefits counseling, individual support services, training education, um, and development retention. I can go over that more a little bit later. So employment is that you're working. We have post-employment services. So if somebody gets a job and they need additional services after, we can also work with them. Um, and so the benefits of working would be to obviously increase your income, build your self-esteem and confidence, opportunity to meet people, and do something purposeful. And that is our contact information. Our main office is in 40 Fountain Street in Providence. Um, and that is our, our voice uh, where you can get applications. You can also get them online. We also um, have a website that, not that, I'm gonna stop sharing because that's gonna keep running, but we do have a website that- Can you just go back to that screen though that had the contact? I was just trying to write that down. Oh, is sure, that, sure. Is it too much to get back to that? Not at all, it's still okay. right. Okay, thank you. Um, let me, there we go. Perfect. Thank you. All right. What I also do in the chat, I'll put my my email address. I think there's a chat in here somewhere. I'm going to put my email address. So if anybody has any questions after, they can shoot me an email. All right. So I apologize on that slideshow. It's not one that I did. So it just kept like running on and on and I couldn't pull it back. Um, but uh, let me just see if there was anything else that I wanted to. So when we're looking at services, like I said, we, we have counselors that are transition counselors. They work in the high schools. So we work with anybody from like the age of 14 and, and on until they no longer want to work again. So we have people that are um, transitioning out of high school, looking for work, looking for careers. We also have people who probably may have had a job for, for many years and then they become disabled. Something happens and then they need to um, either look for a different career or they have to see um, what else that they can do. And so we work with them to maybe get, doing a career change. We do have funding to help for um, different training programs. If a person wants to go to school, we have grants to help with school. Uh, it really is any, any service you can think of that would help you get to work, we can explore. So a lot of them we've done before, but we can never, we never say never, um, because we don't know everyone's so individualized. They might come to us and we're like, oh, we've never had that before, but let's look at what we have out in the community and what we can work with. Um, that we go forward. And the ultimate goal is to become employed. So anybody that applies for voc rehab services, we keep your case open until you're employed. Um, or because it's a voluntary program, if you start working with us and in, in our services and feel like, well, maybe this is not for me right now, or this is not the be best time, um, then you can always ask for your case to be closed out. But what we really like is somebody's case to be closed out successfully working. Um, and then what happens is once the person is working for 90 days, we close out the case successful. However, they're welcome to come back and reapply and reopen with us at any time. And I think that's it. Um, so I'm open to any questions. And if I can think of anything else that comes on, um, like a lot of people want to know about different services, uh, but if there's anything that you um, 
have interest in or want to, you can shoot me an email uh, or you can just ask here.